Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get into the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below what you want to see from me in the future. We just hit just over 750 subscribers, so thank you so much for the love. I appreciate it. Let's get to 1k subs uh, quick time. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so I'm going to get straight into the plugins. Before I get into the plugins, though, I want to um, let you guys know this is my personal opinion on what the best plugins are for me. Uh, if you've seen my previous videos, you've seen um, some of the work I've I've done, and also most of the thumbnails from my um, my YouTube videos are also the work that I've previously done before. But um, with that out of the way, yeah, let's get straight into the video. So the first plugin um, I would recommend is Gapfill. Now this has been around for a while, I believe, but um, basically the simple way of putting it um, it fills certain gaps so it makes like uh, making like a roof or something makes it 10 times easier when you're using parts so if I select this I select normal and let's say best guess one stud you can kind of guess what these do so one stud would essentially uh, join these two parts with one stud uh, plate would join these two parts with just a really thin plate and thinnest is obviously the um, thinnest you can get best guess it will roughly guess um, the size that it needs so this align it with this which isn't really what we need so one stud would be the best for this one and yeah that's basically all Gapfield does um, super neat super handy um, just a small little plugin I really recommend it okay so for the second plugin I have it's uh, 3d text it's literally does what it says um, I use this to create like shop signs and such so you know you'd create a huge billboard or something you click on the plugin you would click on activate cursor and as you can see it appears when the text appears up here and then you can just edit it how you want you can change the tracking the color anything you might really need to change and you just change the text and it appears on here um small plugin very useful though for making shop signs etc stuff like that um yeah on to the next one now for the plugin that i get the most comments on um is what i use to build assets and and stuff like that um it's building tools by f3x highly 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 recommend it very useful um it's essentially uh your typical select move scale rotate tools just um a lot more advanced a lot easier to use the UI is better I think um, here you can press Z X and it changes all the um, so like for example Z you can use it to move X you can use it to scale and C you can use to rotate stuff like that very simple very fast you can change the increment here so if I want to change it by 0 0.25 studs it will change it it's very simple um, pretty self-explanatory um, but I highly recommend it this is what I use for all the um, commissions I do and stuff like that and the games I make and um, yeah that's it um, now another plugin that I don't use too often which I really should because it's super handy it's it's called uh, parts to terrain um, it does exactly what it says it turns parts into terrain so you can essentially model your terrain like this how you want to make it really it's a lot easier to do like this rather than using the terrain tool um, but essentially once you click part to terrain you can select any part you want um, and you select the material you want so let's say I want limestone click that and it just converts it straight into terrain very easy very handy um, highly recommend it too now the the last um, plugin I want to recommend is brush tool this is very 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 handy so if you click to start at the bottom left um, this essentially um, paints models that you have selected um, so if I click activate brush as you can see it paints assets or wherever you want um, it also changes their rotation and stuff based on where you um, where you place them as you can see it wraps around certain assets which is very handy um, and saves a lot of time and yeah I highly recommend it 
but yeah that's going to be it for this video um i know it was a quick video but you guys have been asking me what plugins i use and there you have it those are basically all the plugins i use i don't use anything extra like special or anything like that because i don't personally find the need to i know you can use stuff like cutscene editor or certain plugins that make um your lighting look really nice in your games but i don't really have a need for that so i don't personally use that but um other than that that's been it from me hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace